Christy, and we're gonna be doing a factory tour. We're gonna find out how they make forge wheels. I got my buddies JJ and Kel. We're gonna go do this tour, and I'm really excited, and we're gonna take you along with us. So let's get going. I'm like, All right, before we get going, boys, put on the safety glasses. Oh, yeah. Kel's having a hard time here. All right, ready to yeah. Ready to roll. Yeah. Hi, so let's uh, talk about the wheel manufacturing process. The uh, first step in the process is to uh, bring in the aluminum from the mill, which you see behind us here. And then we cut it up to uh, the individual pieces, which you see on the pallet here. The size of the piece depends upon the weight of the underlying wheel. Right. The bigger the wheel, the bigger the piece of billet. Makes sense. So this is all 66 to 1 uh, aluminum, all comes from various sources around the world and we store it right here in Oxford. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Awesome. You mind if we go get some footage of him cutting that? Absolutely. Perfect, let's yeah. do that. So uh, now we're going into the forging area. So uh, the various cut pieces of aluminum that we saw just a moment ago are going to come on in here and they're going to get heated up to about 900 degrees Fahrenheit and then they're going to get forged in a rotary forging press. So let's head on in here and we'll see the forging process. That sounds awesome. So in here we see the forging process, which is actually a rotary forging process. So right behind us here, we get taking a piece out. Now we're seeing them put a piece into the forging press right here. So they're scooting it down the conveyor and putting it into the press. So right now. Yeah, coming right down the end there. So it's a pretty heavy piece. So there it goes into the forging press. Yeah, now we're going to see the press come down. And the top and the bottom die are spinning, hence the rotary forging process. So you can see the press coming down, it's going to squeeze it between the top and the bottom die. See it right there? Okay, so they're just about done with the forging process, so the door is going to open. Just here momentarily. And then the part's going to get knocked up out of the bottom die. I'm going to grab it with uh, with this manipulator and move it from a press into this bath. There we go. Good picture of it. So it's pretty hot, about uh, about 800 degrees That's Fahrenheit. Wow. Very hot. So the ejector is going to push the part up out of the bottom die. Gonna grab it with the manipulator. We're gonna bring it back over here and set it in this basket for the next operation. I think like we should back up. <laughs> Process where he's checking the flatness of the part and the dimensional accuracy of the part as well. So uh, from here it's going to go on to the to the next operation. It depends on the type of wheel it is. If it's a center for a multi-piece wheel, then it's just going to get heat treated and it gets shipped to our customer. In the case, this case here, this is actually a military wheel. So this is going to get uh, spun on a spinning machine, which we'll see next and eventually get heat treated in lane turn. So we'll see that operation next. So what we're gonna take a look at next is we're gonna take a look at the spinning process. So when it's done being forged, rotary forged, the next step 
for the part to be uh, spun on a spinning machine. So we're going to take a look at that next. All right, what we've got going on here is a different spinning machine. Uh, this machine loads the part from the robot you know, off the shelf and puts it into the machine. Then it runs and the robot unloads it. So again, it's a spinning process. It makes the force part and uh, turns it over a tool into the finished, finished machine part, ready to be machined. We'll get started here in just a moment. have now is the, the, the part that's done from the spinning process, which you can see here, so it's the rough shape of a wheel, ready to be heat treated, aged, and then machined into the final product. This particular wheel is a front drag race wheel for oh. uh, either a funny car or a drag suit. Oh, that's really cool. It's the right thing. going on here is the parts that have now been spun. Like what we just saw. Just like what we saw a moment ago okay. and they've been heat treated and heat so they're uh, properly hard for machining. And now what we do is we take the wheel, we're looking behind us in its, in its spun form and we put them into the laser machine, the finished laser. Okay. So the example of any uh, motorcycle wheel right here. So it's been fully laid turned ready to be milled. And the operator here putting the uh, part into the machine, and he's trying to uh, he's trying to run the cycle here, and uh, finish the uh, finish length for me. So we start the process here, and then uh, when it's done, we'll see the part come out of the lane machine. So it looks just about like the machine. That's pretty cool. So how long did that process take? Uh, this process probably has a cycle time of about uh, oh seven or eight minutes. Oh, so that's pretty fast. Yeah, here, here we see them kind of wiping down the, wiping down the part, ready to be inspected. We'll show the inspection process in a few minutes here, where we do the final inspection on the wheel to make sure that it's dimensionally correct. So what we see on this pallet here is finished late turn product. It's ready to be sent to the customer. It's been dimensionally checked. The harness has been checked. Everything is good to go to the customer. So what they get is a part that's finished, slave turned, ready to be milled. The milling would include their style, whether it be hand rolls or spoke, and also, in this case, a motorcycle wheel attaching the hub. But for a car wheel, it's going to have the, the bolt circle uh, drilled into it, milled into it, for the fitment pattern for the vehicle. Um, but it's, uh, it's ready to go, um, uh, ready for their design and finished milling.
what we have going on here is we're laser scanning the part to determine its, its accuracy dimensionally to the drawing. So once the part's finished laser turn, you bring it over here like you can see, and then we use a laser scanner to scan the whole surface of the wheel, which takes about a minute or so. And at that point, you have the whole part uh, digitally representing the computer, and then you overlay it against the against the drawing of the part oh, okay, yeah. to determine exactly that it's correct physically. And it's and it's thousands of points that the laser done. This is opposed to the way things were done uh, in, in, in previous years, which was to take things like height gauges and caliper sure. to physically measure the part, uh, which takes quite a long time. It's not nearly as accurate as the laser, which takes thousands of points a, a, a second. And uh, it's a lot more with the graphic, graphical representation of it. So at this point, the product's ready to be shipped to the customer with 100% certainty that it's dimensionally correct. Wow, that's pretty cool. So we pretty much have seen it start from the cylinder, press, heat treat it, fun, and now we're well, here. And it's ready to go to my customer. Exactly, exactly correct. So, so we cut up the billet, we rotary forward set, we spun it, we heat treated it, we machined it, and then we dimensionally correct it, and now it's ready to go to the customer. It's like what he said. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Well, I had a great day meeting the fine folks over here at AST. They were super nice to give us a factory tour. I learned absolutely a lot about rotary forged wheel blanks. And honestly, I didn't know this, but they also make rocket parts. So if their parts can withstand rockets, I'm pretty sure their wheel blanks can pretty much endure anything that you're gonna do. But like I said, I had a really great time. All of the people here are super nice. I think JJ and Kel had a really good time as well. All right. And now we're going to go see the beach. Have a good day. See you next time.